Hello, welcome to the video for what is material, the GI replace node. So let's go ahead and cover what this does. The GI replace basically stands for global illumination replacement node. This is the node itself right here. And the goal of it is to replace the global illumination, basically the reflected light from a light bounce. It replaces the color that it should normally be with a different color. Now I'm going to give you an extreme example, but the better use for it would be to subtly change the color of something. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Our GI replace node has three inputs. Default, which is going to be the default color that's bounced back. Bounced back. If you're not using static or dynamic indirect lighting. Static indirect which is basically the color that is reflected back if you're using baked lighting and then dynamic if you're using a dynamic indirect lighting for example a light propagation volume. To make our example easier I'm going to use static lighting and let's show you how this works. So this is our normal light effect and what we would expect. We have our light coming down, we have a white surface on the bottom and it's reflecting back basically white on the back side where our global illumination would be. If I was placed to floor with black and rebuild, keep in mind I'm rebuilding because I'm using static lighting and I need to rebuild it each time, you're gonna see this change. We still have our white effect from our light, but we have no global illumination bounce on the back side because it's black, therefore our back side's going to be black. Now if we change this to a red color, for example, we go ahead and rebuild, and of course I screwed that up, so let's wait for it to finish building. I meant to change the surface to red, so let's change that back to right, change this surface to red, there we go, and rebuild. We're gonna get a slightly different effect. Red is of course darker than white, so it's not gonna bounce back near as much, so it's not gonna be as white. And you're gonna get this little bit of a light red here because you have your white coming in and bouncing and your red bouncing and they're canceling each other out with a bit more red on the back because you don't have direct light. Remember the global illumination is meant more for bounce lighting or indirect. Now if we change this over to the GI replace material I've used, the one you see here, let me go ahead and build it. Hopefully you can see, hopefully you can guess what's going to happen. We're going to have green for our global bounce and you're going to get this effect. We're going to have the red for the surface, the white coming in, but instead of the white being reflected back up, we're using the green replacement here, and we're getting a green for the replacement color. Now obviously this is an extreme example. You could, for example, take red and make it more of a subtle color. Actually yellow is a bit much. Let's make it like a point eight where it's a lighter red, and hit apply, and then build out. Now after this builds and compiles our shader, basically instead of getting our more harsher red that we had before, we're gonna get a more lighter red because we told it to bounce. So we're gonna get more of the white in there instead of the darker red. So you can use the GI replace to subtly alter your effect. So that is what the GI replace is intended for. It's not meant to give you an extreme effect, but you can, there's no reason you can't. It's meant more for your artist to give you more control over the scene. So that is our GI replace node. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.